Good afternoon, Glenn Bill with of Southern California Practical Services. Uh, yeah, is this the guy that does those uh, flamethrower radios? Um, one of them that does it. Uh, do you want to talk to a salesperson or a technician? I'm a technician. Oh, uh, the technician's fine. Yeah, I was wondering, okay. do, you guys have any, do, you, do you guys have any videos showing, uh, showing what it looks like on a scope and a spectrum analyzer? Do we have any videos of it? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we're not in the business of making movies. Uh, our boss doesn't. We're, we're avionics technicians. We work on aircraft communication and nav gear. We've been contracted to build the flame for a radio. At least our division has. Uh, I truly like to make a video, but uh, you'd have to talk my boss into that. We're paid to work on radios, not to not to make videos. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, if I was to buy two of your radios and put and put them into two different cars and drive in opposite directions, how far apart would I be able to get with a nine foot whip on the roof of each car out on the flatlands, out in the high desert? Well, there's about 15 different things I could mention to you that would make a difference in the signal, okay? One of them being ambient noise, the other one being atmospheric conditions, the third would be dew point of the air itself, uh, any type of electronical interference, either man-made or whatnot from either your vehicle or a closer one. Uh, this applies to both vehicles, what I'm talking about. Uh, the condition of the unit, the light, uh, the, uh, the SWR, the antenna, uh, where do you want me to stop? There is no set range. I mean, I could do it today and measure 12 miles. I could do it tomorrow and measure 16. Uh, it, it's atmospheric conditions. It's like telling me how big is the next wave on the beach going to break at low tide. All right. Uh, okay, well, I, I guess another way of putting it is how many microvolts of signal would it take from your signal generator to produce an audible tone in the receiver after you get done tuning it? Normally when we start, they're on the amplitude modulation, they're about 0.7. When we're done with them, they're about 0.4 on AM and about 0.2 on Point two two on a single sideband. Okay, so you can't drop the noise floor down to like 100, negative 125 dB then, right? Negative. <laughs> the noise floor is dependent on the first stage audio amplifier, okay? Which is precisely, which is precisely <laughs> why you want to replace that, which is why you exactly, want to replace it with exactly. a higher gain, lower noise device. Ex the, the, the one that we take out of it, is rated at 18 dB gain at 0.5 dB gain noise, but it's a lot more than that. We want we check it. We ch change it out with is 38 dB gain with 0.2 dB gain of noise. That's just the first stage. Uh, is that the? Are you guys using the Sanyo 2SC 2999 uh, transistor? No, we're not. We're using a on some of our radios. We're using a mil spec NASA grade first front end uh, amplifier. Which means nothing to me without a data feed. Yeah, uh, it's like I mentioned to you, 38 dB gain with 0.2 dB gain noise. Okay, so okay, so my question, I revert back to my original question is, how many, you know, on AM, how many microvolts of signal would it take to produce an audible tone in the receiver? Yeah, I, I just I just told you if you were listening, roughly 0.3 microvolts, which is about like a stock, which means, yeah, my distance between the two radios wouldn't be very good then. Not at all. It would be almost twice as good as compared to the stock device that's in the radio. Right, but if you can get it down to one one-thousandth of a microvolt of signal to produce an audible tone, you could, you know, drastically increase the distance between the two radios without increasing the output level, without increasing the power output of those radios. That, that's yeah. correct. But I know very few radios that are less than less than, <laughs> less than point one. Oh, I, I know two technicians in the country that can drop it down to one one-thousandth of a microvolt. One of them you know, we, we've had radios that can do that. By that, I mean uh, every RF output, every radio is different. This is what we guarantee. We guarantee point two two. Okay. okay, yeah, so it's I'm, not, be I'm not interested. Okay, yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah, I guess I like to be able to hear. So, 
I just wanted to check to see what your receipt was like. Well, you should find one that's point one good luck. Thank you very Fine much. FineTuneCBShop.com.